Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> private joke. <laughs> We're starting off with a private uh, joke. Uh, All right, one of our favorite guests, Teddy Foster, campaign director, Universal Preservation Hall. Welcome back. Hi, Jesse. Happy summer. <laughs> Happy summer, finally. <laughs> uh, we had to have Teddy come in because, as you know, before the Shaken and Stirred event, Teddy came on with two of her friends. And uh, we talked about the event. Well, the event was amazingly fabulous. Over the top. As a matter of fact, Teddy's the kind of person who can take the electricity out of a room if she wants to. As a matter of fact, I think you did that, didn't you? Yeah, you know, God did that, actually, because the storm hit. <laughs> yeah, I know. So tell us about it. It was a wonderful event at Saratoga National. We had eight corporate teams mm. that vied against each other to see who could earn the most tips for UPH. Uh, the teams were Bonaccio, Julian Co., oh, yeah, sure, Lifestyles, Finger Paint, Global Foundries, uh, Saratoga Social, and we had a Cameo team. And I think I'm missing one, but we had, mm -hmm. we had wonderful, wonderful teams. And they had their own uniforms, and they had their own song, and they danced behind the bars. It was great. But um, in two hours was all the time we had because the storm came. Mm -hmm. And do you want to know how much we made in two yeah, hours? Actually, I do know because <laughs> we reported on it, but go ahead. Yeah, so in two hours, uh, we made $30,000 for UPH. That's UPH. It was wonderful. So people in Saratoga like to drink. Yeah, they, I think they do like to drink. <laughs> and uh, we love having it out there at Saratoga National. They're very good to us. People love going out there. Mm. We took over the whole veranda. And now we see that we're growing to the whole patio. Uh, mm -hmm. And they like it. It brings in a lot of people and a lot of business for them as well, I think. They had over 500 people at the event. And can you imagine the short period of time before Teddy decided to get the electric turn the electricity off? The... Uh, they raised $30,000 for Universal Preservation Hall. Well, in case somebody's living under a rock, let's talk about Universal Preservation Hall. A uh, number of things that we've covered, a number of conversations you and I have had about uh, the renovation project. And uh, it's really now starting to happen, right? Yeah, it's really starting to happen. We have closed the hall to the public, so we're not doing any events there or renting any of our spaces right now. We're actually cleaning the hall out because there's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff that has to go. We're trying to determine what's going in storage and what's not. Mm -hmm. um, so that takes a little bit of time. We are in the paperwork process now where we have historic tax credits that we've applied for and all that paperwork has been submitted. We've gone before design review committee of the city and been approved mm -hmm. uh, very nicely by them and now we're headed to planning board. So we're really in the administration, administrative part of mm -hmm. it right now. Uh, we still are fundraising. We um, have a five and a half million dollar goal. We're 90% of the way there, but right. we're still fundraising. Right. And the most important thing is this building is going to close in September, fully close for over a year for construction. So I think anybody that has an opportunity to come in for a tour to see this building now before it changes should absolutely take advantage of it. And we're there uh, every day from 9 until 4, except for the weekends. Now, um, I would just want to cycle back just a second. This is one of the historic buildings in Saratoga, and the history of it alone is, is worth a tour. But what I like about it is, is seeing it before it's, it's renovated. Mm -hmm. Because I've seen the plans, and I've seen some of the sketches and the drawings, and you cannot believe what the plans are for this building, uh, including in the main upstairs, right? In the, in the main hall, yes. I guess you would call it now, uh, a theater in the round with all kinds of really interesting acoustical uh, hangings to make certain that the acoustical properties in the building when it's done are correct. But right now, it's an open shell. And just to see it in its majesty like that yeah. is unreal. So you can go on a tour and they're guided tours. So you get a sense of the history as well as get to see it before it all 
changes. Yeah, and learn a little bit more about our exciting plans for the building. Yes, right, so sure. It's going to be great. So you can go to universalpreservationhall.org, right? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, of course, you can just Google Universal Preservation Hall Saratoga. You can call them up. You can stop in. The doors are open. I drive by and the doors are open. Yep, the doors are open. If they're closed, we usually have some of them unlocked. But yeah. That's just to keep it a little warmer in there. Yeah. But it's great, and I encourage everybody to try to get in there to see it uh, mm -hmm. because there will be a time period you can't. That's right. And um, it's, then you'll be able to compare that's old right. to new. That's right. Oh boy, I'm excited about this one. Um, and is it still on schedule pretty much for next year? We're um, projecting that we'll be done by the late fall of 2018, hoping that yeah. that happens. But as when you get into these old buildings, you never quite know exactly what's gonna happen, yeah. but hoping for that. And I think there will come a time where we can do small hard hat tours mm -hmm. once we get in there and get going. Mm -hmm. So I think that'll be uh, really, really great and interesting to people. Well, the community has shown unbelievable support for this. Every one of these fundraisers is just, everybody comes out and the building itself, this is Downton Abbey right in the heart of Saratoga. Really, yeah. the building is insane. The history is very rich there yeah. and the exciting part is that when we reopen, yeah. we're bringing proctors to Saratoga, That's which right. would be huge for Saratoga. It's gonna be wonderful for everybody that lives here or visits here. Well, thank you for taking the time to thank come you. in. We tried to get you the day after the event, yeah. and someone told us you were a little under the weather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still counting money. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Great to see you. Thank you, Jesse. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com. Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important, as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it.